makes me smile, makes me happy, it makes me get feelings. Well, it helps me become more musical. I can build my own song, or I, I know wow. the A major key right now, so I can, I can kind of make my own song. How often do you study? Every day or every other day? Every day. Yeah. Every day. Knowing that my son, you know, learn how to play and be interested in the music, I think that's a great thing, you know. How long have you been playing? About half a year. Only. A He's learned how to work through obstacles, like when I'm, a passage is hard, but then after he keeps practicing and he finally gets it, it feels so good, you know, so I think perseverance is something that it's taught him. Just to see them conquer every step is very rewarding for me. I love what I'm doing right now and see them make such progress just in such short time. From the very, very beginning in the Sturgis Music Academy, those students picked up a violin for the first time, you know, six months ago or seven months ago. From there, they'll continue with those group classes and soon thereafter be involved in, you know, hopefully in-school programs as well as the after-school programs and then get involved with our youth ensembles program. For the Arkansas Symphony to have a program just for youth symphony and for kids all throughout the, um, the entire state of Arkansas is actually a, a wonderful thing. And why people give it the Opus Ball and why they try to match the 25000 that Simmons Bank has already donated. You know, we talked about helping the kids and the kids' programs, but literally, you know, it helps them, uh, whether it's today learning how to play music or learn a musical instrument or even scholarships, you know, future scholarships or getting them into college. I've seen a child from a very difficult home life um, blossom into a fabulous musician. Uh, her talent propelled her on to college on a full scholarship. Um, she is now teaching and she is in Arkansas bringing back to the kids in schools in Arkansas. The symphony has a collection of instruments already but not a lot of them are in a good shape. An orchestra is only the sum of its parts, and in fact, maybe with adding music, it can be an example of something that's greater than the sum of its parts. But we exist mostly on donations. Ticket sales are a big part of our operations, but indeed, the majority of our expenses are covered by people who are committed to hearing great performing arts in Arkansas and seeing the results of our education programs across the state. In other words, it's really the philanthropy, mostly of individuals and multi-year commitments of small numbers that say, I want to invest in something that is making a powerful difference in my community, perhaps in their own family or in their school or just in their city. But indeed, it's, it's individuals who believe in music and its power to change communities that really provide our sustenance. It's a stepping pad. It's yeah. like you, you start here and then you go off and you do music festivals or um, you go off and you decide to play professionally. Or, you know, we have like all these valedictorians and uh, people like Eagle Scouts. You know, we have people going off to these crazy awesome colleges, uh, Ivy Leagues and everything because of like, I like to think that all of that started with music because it's a great way to learn discipline. It's a great way to learn like, leadership value and leadership skills. The intellect that someone develops studying music and the, you know, the need to figure things out and to understand and be, you know, self-sufficient in solving problems is you know, the same set of skills that you need to succeed in science and math, I think, and, you know, to an extent, other humanities as well. The connection between music and all different measures of intelligence, IQ, uh, aptitudes in math and spatial reasoning. Uh, in fact, you can even look at an, a functional MRI image of a musician's brain. Specifically, most of the studies have focused on kids that started piano and violin before age seven, and you can see a change in the physiology of their brain. I, I certainly see the correlation between music and math with Riley. He certainly uh, has excelled in both. Music, I think, helped her in, in all aspects of her education. Music has really helped me to think through situations, really calm me down a bit. You know, if you feel tense, counteract that by breathing more deeply and getting more air moving through the horn. If the mission of the orchestra is to, you know, advance, connect, enrich, and inspire Arkansas through the power of music, then 
having a high-level youth orchestra is clearly going to be a central part of that. Really what we're doing is we're providing memories for people, shared collective memories that we'll, they'll take with them for the rest of their lives. And it's these investments in education, in our kids, in our music education programs, that truly will change generations of our Kansans. There's no better place to put our, our money these days uh, than in something that is truly about beauty and future generations. Being able to be up there and, and she's happy playing her music, I feel like that's a delight for me. Yeah. Years before this, I never knew that I would be where I am right now. That relationship of an instrument and a child is going to pay dividends for, for their life, for their family, for their schools, and indeed for their entire community. It opens such a door to us. I do it because I love it. It's really helped me grow a love for playing my instrument and then playing with other people as well. It just is a big part of my life and I love it so much. I've got one of the best jobs in the world. There's no question about it. I mean, music changes lives, it changes communities. It's, it's, it's a blessing.